We found out there was a Lucid store opening up nearby, so we wanted to check it out and get to know the Lucid Air a bit more in person. What do you think, Louise? This is pretty cool. Futuristic. <laughs> Where do I put yeah. my phone? Oh, well, we got wireless chargers here. Okay. In here. I like that this is like a floating oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Like I can stick my fingers. Let's see how deep it goes. And yeah, they said this is alpaca wool. This? Yeah, I think all this is alpaca. Alpacas are kind of rough, though. <laughs> it doesn't feel so good. Yeah, it this looks is nice. It does look pretty nice. Yeah. This is the cheapest Lucid they make. Which is the Air? The Air Pure rear-wheel drive also happens to be the most efficient vehicle, even more efficient than our Model 3. What's the range? In... Over 400 miles. We just finished the uh, first test drive. We got to use it on the freeway a little bit. Because this is the absolute cheapest, like, bare-bones Lucid, there's no Dream Drive Pro. So it does have adaptive cruise control, and that worked really well. Something I didn't realize about when you don't have Dream Drive Pro and you just have the bare-bones is there's actually less physical hardware. There's fewer cameras. <laughs> that would slightly bug me a little bit. There is blind spot monitoring, which is nice because the Model 3 just got that. So this has little uh, pop-ups on the mirrors that turn orange if someone's in your blind spot. Visibility also is not bad, especially rear view visibility. The, the middle seat headrest is kind of in the way, but I wonder if there's a way to fold that down. I could play with that a little bit. But yeah, that rear window is a lot more open on the back, a lot easier to see out of. This is also a massive mirror compared to any Tesla mirror, basically. It's probably like twice the size of the Cybertruck rear view mirror. Little design details that I thought were interesting. So there's no accessibility handle here, but there is one for the back. The back seats get them. I don't know if I've ever seen that in a car before. Just the rear seating gets the accessibility handle. I kind of like that. So like if yeah. you're driving around your grandma or whatever. There you go. It's they like can a, have it. I don't know how you, oh yeah, you just touch it and that comes back. Yeah, I'd be a little worried about how that ages over time, but it's sweet that you can access more storage if you need. I'm still more of a landscape display guy, but this was pretty sweet. The way I'm able to just adjust the volume, you can adjust it here or here although these i don't know these dials are a little cheap feeling they're a little plasticky to me but yeah they keep this pretty bare bones your fan speed the passenger's fan speed so you can go up that way or down despite being a coil suspension system this is still very very smooth it, it just glides over all those little bumps it feels very quiet and honestly picks up like that, even though it's the slowest lucid rear wheel drive. I'm impressed by how much it picks up, especially at highway speeds. It likes to accelerate quite a bit. Doesn't feel like they're throttling it much if they are. I like that the seats are uh, perforated. I don't know if they're ventilated. They may not actually have like active cooling. Yeah, I think there's just a heat button. I don't see a, a cool button, but that's interesting. You see that? You can select individual parts of the seat if you want your back heated or just your bum. What if I want my head heated? Can you do the headrest? <laughs> Maybe not on this model. That wouldn't surprise me if that's another feature toggle. Oh, we have a uh, dog mode, maybe? Creature, Creature comfort, comfort mode. Oh, turns off automatically when battery reaches 1%. Oh, that's a lot better than 20. Tesla won't turn it on if you're below 20%. Keep mode. That's also nice. Even if there's no creature and you just want to... Rear controls as well. I don't think they're heated. Oh, they get a display back there. They do. Were you playing around with it much? Mm -hmm. Oh, those vent feels nice. I like this little... It's like a physical. Yeah, the physical control is just Also, little... they twist. So, like, ah. I think that's how they close and open. That's clever. Yeah, you just point it where you want it. Yeah, controls are fairly familiar, although one thing I'm not a huge fan of is the old-fashioned. You have to turn on cruise control twice. So you say, okay, press this button for it to get ready, and then press this button inward to actually turn it on, and then there's an X button. So this, wow, this whole thing moves when I press it a bit much but yeah you got skip controls and voice commands definitely a lot bigger than i thought the steering wheel would be but it, it does handle quite nicely why did um, they flatten it at, at the bottom i think that helps with uh knee room leg room getting mm, in and out okay these doors are interesting too there's like a trigger and you just pull back on it like to open see it's funny i'm a fan of the glass being integrated into the door so it doesn't have to go up and down every time you open and close yeah people tell me oh drew that's a luxury feature well here we are in a luxury car and it doesn't do that but i i prefer it that way honestly Let's see what our mirror game is here Ooh, it's okay. pretty wide. it's pretty long but the light Tall. doesn't come on which is kind of interesting is it broken i don't know if that's intentional you try mine what's the easiest way to do this oh yeah my light does 
Don't go on Interesting. Either. Louise's thoughts. First time in the Lucid Air. What do you think? It was a pretty smooth ride. Yeah. Comfortable back there. I feel oh, like blub, it should. Be... Oh, there it, oh there it is. She found it. Oh, there's a used tissue. <laughs> Someone didn't. That goes that. really Ooh, deep, though. Is this a screen? Oh, a screen air? cleaner. Lucid Air screen cleaner. Look how deep it goes. Let's see. Whoa! I can almost <laughs> stick my whole arm in it. That's, That's the biggest glove box I've seen in a while. We got Type C. Ooh, Type A. I don't like Type A. A traditional latch style Whoa, mechanism. Whoa, okay. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> we got storage here. We got a little compartment with the bear. There's bear logos everywhere. Yeah, they like the little bear I accents. Think it's cute. There's one here. Yeah, they like their bears. I think that's the flux capacitor. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what that is. <laughs> I do think this column is a, is a bit thick. When I was getting into the car, I kind of bumped my head against it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I do um, feel like more enclosed. It's a, little, it's a little tight. I think it doesn't help that this is a body colored roof, which is on yeah. just the cheap models. The nicer airs have a all glass the roof. Back and, also felt shorter than the Tesla. Oh, really? As well. Yeah. The, like I could go like this and my head would touch the ceiling. Yeah, a little tight. I mean, I can lower these seats probably. Oh, that's about as low as they go. I definitely feel closer to the ground than in the Model S. That makes you feel way up off the ground. But having a body colored roof does make your visibility a little tight. So it doesn't feel like you have as much of a expansive view. But hey, they had to cut costs somewhere. But I'll admit, build quality and the ride quality and everything was, was very impressive. A, a bit better than I was actually anticipating based on other videos I had watched and other people's reviews. Knowing that this is actually cheaper than a Model S, kind of compelling. The charging network's probably going to be the biggest obstacle, but maybe with uh, over 400 miles of range, you don't need to worry about the charge network so much. Maybe that's what they're hoping for. But I thought you would really like... The amount of storage space. Yeah, I'm impressed by it. <laughs> that goes back pretty because far. Because sometimes we live in our car, you know, when we're road tripping, yeah. and you need lots of space to put your snacks and your drinks. I'm just impressed how well everything like there's so little creaks and rattles maybe yeah. it's just because it's a new car but the odometer which by the way the odometer is right on the display you can see that at any time which is nice it's got almost a thousand miles on it everything just feels really solid yeah really rigid i haven't heard so, any rattle yeah, and there's so the many vents everywhere like yeah, there's a vent there, there, and and there, there in the back in the back seat on the side yeah, nice. fairly minimal on the button layout here. The four windows, that's it. I think all the mirror adjustments would be in the main display. As a minimalistic guy, I know you're probably not supposed to do this, but I would I would probably keep the display up a lot to see how little I can get away yeah, with. Yeah, I mean, do you here. need that, Tom? I think for certain car controls, you do kind of need it. I don't know if you can access all this up here. Yeah, there is a little bit of redundancy sometimes when it comes to navigation. So yeah, so we've got the big trip down here and then the turn-by-turn -turn directions up here. Yeah, that's a little... A little choppy. I would like it to track. I noticed a tad it, it bit seems better. a little slow, like when you're trying to connect your phone and. Yeah, the car like, play was taking a minute. That could have been my phone's fault, but it needs its precious time. But that's that's actually a bit smoother. Not it's 120. A, not a lot, but yeah, it's definitely not 120. It's probably not even 60 hertz, but UI's more responsive than the navigation. That's for sure. He plugged in a destination over two hours away, and it says we'd still get there with 170 miles of range. That's so. Impressive. Yeah, that's not bad. I think they targeted too high of a price point on the market. This is definitely the most compelling Lucid I've been able to check out because even with the body colored roof, it still feels like good build quality, nice, nice ride, and over 400 miles of range is like still plenty in my opinion. So I think they should double down on more, you know, 400 mile range variants and don't need to mess around with 500 plus miles. I think it's just too pricey and people can't justify the expense, but more of this. In fact, I would be fascinated how cheap a Lucid could go if they built a 300 mile range at around 60 kilowatt hour pack. That would be a lot cheaper. Maybe simplify the screens a little bit. Affordability, I think, is a lot of people's biggest concern, but yeah, build quality, ride quality, everything's great. The sound system, the brief time I had with it sounded pretty good. It wasn't that loud though. <laughs> I didn't turn it up very loud. I liked it more than I thought I would. I'll be honest. Yeah, me too. Because um, we first saw the Lucid 
years ago yeah, but in they a showroom. Let us touch it. Yeah, they wouldn't <laughs> let us touch it or sit in it. So, we so went this from, is the first time. You can't touch it to sure drive it around. And we showed up early. I, I scheduled the test drive for like five hours from now and we just showed up and said, Hey, can we test drive now? And they said, Sure, go for it. That was nice of them and they showed us around the, the showroom floor and I'm curious what the peak charging speed is with the pure. But oh love this. Love the fact that straight from the display I can just hit start preconditioning. Come on, Tesla. Why can't we do that? That's seems very basic to me. It'll automatically precondition when you route to a fast charger too. But What's the charging station that they use? Everybody except Tesla. Oh. Electrify America, EVgo. But they have committed to the NAX standard, so they should, with an adapter, get supercharger access. The only problem is it's a higher voltage architecture, so it's not going to charge that fast. Probably 50 kilowatts at supercharger. Yikes. But it's pretty efficient. So yeah, they got to get on the charging. That's, that's the big question. I think the door opening the trigger is more intuitive. Yeah. It feels nicer. Sweet. Tahoe. They call it the peanut butter in the back. Oh. <laughs> and it has the oh, black cool. in the front. Oh, wow. It's really nice. <laughs> this is the uh, Tahoe? Tahoe interior. Tahoe interior. Or the, the peanut butter yeah, interior. Peanut butter. We've got a lot more brown down here. And this is now like a suede kind of material. Oh. And look at this windshield. It goes all the way to the back. Uh, the seats, I think, are heated right now. Ooh. That screen gets pretty dirty. Yeah, it collects stuff, huh? Massage. What? There's a massage mode? Yeah. Try it. Oh, is it just the driver? No, I think it's passenger, too. One way. Wave. Uh, let's do a wave. Whoa! Does it work? <laughs> yeah. Well, then I, I want to try it. it. There's Louise. Hi. She's okay. going to drive Whoa. away. My feet can't <laughs> touch the pedals. You see that? <laughs> yeah, you got to move okay. up, huh? So driver and then pick one. Start. I'll do the wave. All right. 20 minutes remaining. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you like it? Uh, it's not that strong. How do I turn it up? I think that's full. Oh, oh it's massaging my butt, too. <laughs> Hey. It's like wave all the way down. I would not have put the sun visor here because I want the windshield visibility to go all the way back. That's pretty sweet. Where did you put it then? <laughs> uh, into the column here. Model X style. I'd embed it there, but this is this is still pretty cool. You can see. Oh yeah, I think I like the glass better. I believe. It makes it feel more open. Yeah, it feels a lot more open. I believe these have batteries in them to power the light in the mirrors. Oh. Because there's no wiring to the sun visor that's interesting yeah this feels nice this one has fifteen thousand miles on it Fifteen thousand. yeah wow we go seats passenger oh it's just like adjusting lumbar support what about like climate yeah oh there we go cool now it's cooling the seat and massaging me at the same time but this one is much more expensive i believe <laughs> lots more seat controls than I, I could ever ask for so that's interesting Back it still cooling. has the alpaca wool here Oh, interesting. Sweet at the top. There's a lot of differences with this interior. Yeah, a lot of textures. This fabric here. Shades of gray. Yeah. Oh, that's heavy. That's like a metal. There's the bear again. Bear. Yeah, I think Lucid might have to be our next EV that we buy. Are you serious? Fixed the same <laughs> price as the Model Y, which that's it gonna will take be a down while. the line, right? Yeah. Oh, are those uh, sunshades back there? What's up? The car? Do you see the sunshades? Oh, yeah, that's built in. You can. Oh scroll those up and down i that's think cool. I like that. that's kind of handy they're built into the window massage off it's still going it's still going oh that's driver sorry hey i stopped yours do you want yours still going yes okay wait let me see what other kinds i have deep oh it's like pulsing <laughs> stretch spine this is a very nice amount of leg room too deep how does it feel <laughs> Would you use that on a road trip? I can use this while I drive? Yeah, of course. Why not? I totally would. <laughs> this is nice. Lucid Louise. Lucy got some splaining to do. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot more buttons than I'm used to. Like yeah. physical buttons. Lot here, oh, we got lot controls here. here. I like how that feels. Yeah, a little light. dial. You can kind of reach for it without looking at it. Some people yeah, like that. That's like one thing I hate. 
when we're driving and it's like really bumpy and you're trying to press something on the screen. Yeah, that's a problem. Like I will admit, I wish I could have the glass windshield back to here, but then body color here. I don't know if that's cheaper. What's wrong with the glass? Nothing. It's just probably cheaper. This oh. this glass option adds like another This car is five not for people who want cheap cars. <laughs> that's true. This is luxury. <laughs> this is a bit up there. So you get all glass or all color. But it's a luxury I like. I like seeing all this raindrop that's all the way past my head. Yeah, this is nice. Sweet. So how do you like the Tahoe interior versus the other one? It is quite a bit nicer. I'm not sure I would pay much extra for it. Well, what's nicer <laughs> but about it? The brown accents, the more suede materials. This is wool on the pure. We're not even full, but it says 320 miles of range. Wow. So the Lucid at 80% can go further than a Model Y long range at 100%. It's amazing. That's kind of nuts. Ventilated seats is probably my favorite perk about this car. They did not have that in the in the air pure. Yeah, I turned it on a second ago. It's under climate. It would take a little getting used to. There's a lot of settings and menus here. But yeah, you can see this is the fan button I was looking for. And you can choose if you just want your back cooled or just your bum. Oh, is this the seat like, heating? Yeah. Because my, yeah, I'm getting warm. And then when I'm done, I just... Wow. Bye. There's quite a bit of wear and tear in this for 15,000 miles. I yeah. feel like someone's been living in it. Yeah. That's for sure. Breaking it in, which, you know, it happens. I wonder if both of these are wireless charging because there's just a charging icon here, but not here. Try it on this one first. Nothing. We'll try to center it if you can. Oh, something just snapped. There's like little feet on the back that like oh. hold it there so it doesn't the front, move around this here yeah interesting so just that wirelessly charges but not that i wonder if that's a setting mm. these cup holders look pretty small they are kind of small huh should have brought my water bottle somewhat right, standard here. all right good night honey how do you turn these wipers up nice. can you turn them off? off that's cool that those buttons are always there you don't have to pull them up from a menu this is a 5k display is it really yeah Car might be worth it just for the massage feature. You really like that, huh? Yeah. Then you're gonna fall asleep at the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'll be the passenger princess, and you can. Mm. Yeah, currently no Tesla has massaging seat. Thigh support. Oh. Whoa. It's all lumbar. Just the see it moving. Yeah, for people with long thighs. Ooh, there should be one button that puts you in like sleep mode. Man, yeah. that's really nice. You like it? Backward. Whoa. Moving back a bit here. Oh, wow. Honey. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't need to car camp in the back. I would just sleep right here. Yeah, you, you could fall asleep. That thigh support really helps. Wow. Backrest width. So you can make it go out. Oh, it hugs you. Oh! Wow. Wow, that, that's tight. That's kind of nice, actually. You like it tighter? Yeah, it's like it's cradling me. Oh. Pretty sweet. Mm, it's only. <laughs> It's only, what, a quarter million? <laughs> Not a quarter million. More like an eighth of a million. Mm. What does this button do? Oh! Whoa, sunshade. Wow. That's so fancy. Oh, hun, I don't know if you filmed, but in the back there, the middle uh, cup holder, when you pull it down, yeah. there's another latch and you can go through the trunk. Do you want me to go show you? Sure. Oh, that's a fancy looking okay, seat. Ready? <laughs> yeah. So this part is kind of hard to open. I don't know. Is there okay, a special there latch yeah. or something? Oh. You push it down. Much. Whoa! So you can access the trunk from here. Oh, that's which is cool. Very nifty. You could put a bunch of snacks and stuff. Yeah. And keep it hidden. Or like your purse. Yeah. You access and still hide it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Lucid Louise. So this Lucid has uh, fifteen thousand miles on it, and seats showing a little signs of wear. You know, it still works and functions, but some wear and tear over time. Is it dented? A little bit. Yeah. Because I was just <laughs> and the massage is probably messes with it over time. Still rubber pedals. Our pedals are metal. You had to pay extra for those. <laughs> <laughs> These have the soft close too. Okay. You see that? Like no. it, the door can just barely close and it'll take it the rest of the way. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh no my engine. gosh. Just space. That's huge. That's got to be the biggest trunk on the market. It's almost as big as a Lightning. But it's about That's triple, insane. About triple the size of a Model S. Wow. Volume wise. 
Of course, after seeing my wife's excitement, I went on Lucid's website to play around with the configurator, and I realized very quickly Lucid is not playing the simple trim option game that Tesla does, because even with the cheapest Lucid, the Air Pure rear wheel drive, you can configure those massaging seats, and you can put body-colored roofs on the Air Touring and the Grand Touring. You also have stealth options for the trim. My personal dream spec would definitely be the white exterior with the stealth look. Very Stormtrooper-esque, and I love the contrast. I don't know if I would pay that much extra just for the glass roof. While it is nice to have the glass go past my head, it seems to basically add an extra $10,000 every time I try to configure it. And the one thing I probably wouldn't compromise too much on is Dream Drive versus Dream Drive Pro, which I realize Lucid has hardware differences between three different variants of Dream Drive. Premium gives you the blind spot cameras that pop up when you use your blinkers, but only Dream Drive Pro is what gives you highway assist like lane keep, which in all Teslas is a free feature via autopilot. So I thought that was a little bit weird, probably the hardest sell when it comes to the base trim option of the Lucid Air Pure. A lot of cars come with lane keep and ventilated seats now that are much cheaper. But aside from that, I feel like Lucid prioritizes execution over just pure features. They really, really genuinely shocked me with the acceleration and the performance of a single motor vehicle. With a zero to 60 time of about four and a half seconds, that puts it close to just as fast as a dual motor Model Y, despite having one motor that is much smaller and more efficient than Tesla's. And of course, the suspension was incredibly smooth. The build quality was fantastic. And I'll even admit, while the software isn't as smooth and responsive as a Tesla or a Rivian, it was much, much better than I initially thought, considering how Lucid was very scrutinized early on for their buggy software. This one was actually pretty good after a few more updates, I can tell. And I definitely think I want to pay a bit more attention to Lucid in the future because they've got an amazing product on their hands. I talked to a lot of different Lucid owners at this event, and they've built a really solid community that is proud to drive these things on the road. And the big question is, how long will Lucid's future truly be? And with new showrooms and service centers opening up left and right, it doesn't feel like this is all about to come crumbling down as much as people say it is. What do you guys think? Have you test driven a Lucid? Feel free to let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for everybody checking out the video and uh, everybody supporting directly. We really appreciate you for supporting and we'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.